Hey everybody, it's Michael C. Gennaro's Frontier and I'm here with my brother Ben and today we're actually, or tonight, we're actually going to uh, assemble a BVAC. But, uh, we're actually going to do it while the get along gang are uh, playing cards. So this is going to be kind of fun. But uh, anyways, yeah, we're in here tonight and uh, we had a project that we were going to try to do. We we're going to try to do a cutout, but uh, that uh, didn't work out so well. So uh, now we're going to try to just go ahead and assemble a BVAC just in case um, we actually get another uh, opportunity for a cutout. So, what are we doing, Ben? So, this is not our design. So, if it doesn't work, sorry. Just kidding. So, the idea is you have. So we have a bucket top shop vac, basically fits on top of a five gallon bucket. Um, so that would go, that's going to have its own bucket, not including these two. Okay. So the hose will go from the shop vac to the bottom of here. Uh, we're going to cut a hole for that. We got some pictures, a couple pictures um, from the local hardware store. And basically, it's going to create the suction through the buckets back into the shop back, but the bees are going to get caught in the system of buckets prior to going into the shop back, so that way they don't get harmed. Or at least that's the idea: is that the suction will be or will be caught into an area where they won't get they won't kill the bees, because ultimately you want to save as many as possible. So that's what we're going to be working on. Got a bunch of different uh, parts and stuff here to work with, so stay tuned and we'll try to get you the finished product. All right. First thing, first things we got to do is actually uh, choose which bucket we're going to have the bucket head on, and we need to make sure that the bucket head actually fits onto the bucket. I mean, you could throw it on there. They're all the same size. You think so? Yeah. I so. so. Looks like it fits. So change of plans. Apparently the buckets are not the same exact size. The lids are, but not the bottom. So this one's slightly smaller than the white one. So we're gonna actually use this one as the cutout because we want, when we put the screen in here, we want there to be a little bit of separation between the sides of the buckets because this is gonna sit down in here. So we wanna have a little bit of separation so there's actually room for the air to be sucked through. Um, my fear of putting the bigger one inside the smaller bucket would be that there wouldn't be enough separation and might burn out the motor over time for the vacuum. So we want to make sure that there's enough free airflow um, through, between the buckets as it's sucking the air through that it allows for enough airflow that it can the vacuum can run like it's supposed to. All right. So basically, got both of the holes cut out. Um, so we're gonna put screen on the inside of here. So the screen obviously is, will not let the bees through, but it'll still let the air pass through when this is sitting inside of here. Um, the next step we're gonna do, we're gonna cut a hole underneath that so that the air is gonna be pulled through the yellow bucket, down through and out the white bucket into the vacuum. So the hose, <coughs> We're also going to attach another hose on top of here. That will be the hose that use that we use to actually vacuum up the bees. So they will get sucked through here into the yellow bucket, and that's where we're going to have some cushioning in the bottom of this bucket, so that when they do get sucked in, that they don't hit the bottom too hard and break themselves. Um, so yeah, we got a few more holes to cut. The connection for the vacuum hose. Um, so we this hose connects to the vacuum right. of the motor. This is this normal suction end of the hose. So this will go this will go into the bucket. This hose fits actually perfectly in here, like nice and snug. So that'll be a nice snug fit on the bottom for the, for the bottom of this bucket. 
Yeah. Wait, what what size pipe fitting is that? Sorry. The size pipe fitting. That's a good question. It's like one and a quarter. The funny thing is, is, is we actually found the pipe fitting. So this is a one and a quarter to one and a half inch. Um, but I think the bigger part is one and a half or one and a half and then and one and a quarter in the middle part. But this fixture fit that hose perfectly. So that's why we went ahead and went with that. Yeah. There was other, there's all kinds of different fittings you can get. What we did find out is that these fittings were but the pipes were in the plumbing section, our irrigation, um, the washer nuts that we will use, I'll show you those in a little bit, um, on the inside of this to secure it, were actually found in the electrical section. Yeah. <laughs> so, go figure. This, is, this, this method does require a little bit of uh, strength, so. That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> if, you have, uh, yeah. if you are physically challenged, then you might wanna try to get some sort of a saw that would be a little easier than trying to cut through this with a box cutter. We're gonna measure a circle, make sure it's not bigger than the washer, make sure it's not bigger than the washer that uh, it is gonna sink into. It's a pretty good circle. I know. Pretty, it's pretty good. It actually looks like a circle. Yeah, on the side of a bucket. So this is going to be fun trying to cut with a box cutter. This bucket actually feels a little guess, less pliable. Yeah, they're about the same, I guess. I'm going to do a cross and then they put it in the hole. Okay. Right, fitting. Hey, it screws in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't even need a washer. <laughs> That's actually quite impressive. <laughs> I mean, it's not like super secure, but it's yeah. pretty darn secure. So now show the oh, other side. Should we glue oh. it? It's up to, I, I, would I would say no. I would say because well, it's not tight. sealed, airtight. Okay. You know, I think. So. I was so precise with my cutting. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I actually cut the hole pretty good <laughs> with a razor. Um, that this actually screws, it's tight enough to where this actually is able to screw in. It's actually in there pretty good. Uh, but this is what it'll look like from the outside. I'm gonna put a little bead of um, silicone underneath it just to make it better uh, airtight. And then from the inside, see the spout. Hold, on. hold it still, hold see it my still. Finger? Hold it still. Yeah, and then the we want to come to the air will get sucked right through there. We will want to get the washer in there. But yeah, we have a washer that'll go on the inside of that. And make sure the bucket's in there. Okay, so now we're putting the silicone in there just to give it an extra bond. Basically, I've got the uh, washer and nut on there so you can kind of see how that's going to go together. I do not have channel watch with me right now, so I'm going to tighten that at a later time. But you get the idea. So that's the outside, that's the inside. I'll show the hose going in. I guess we'll do it later. From the vacuum into here. Right? Yeah, hold it up. There you go. And again, this will be bulk. This will be the suction will be coming from below the yellow bucket with the screen in it. Yeah. Which is going to have another hose on top. That will be where the bees get sucked in. So this is just some regular um, screen for like uh, replacements on your front porch and stuff. Um, seen some other stuff where they do it with. Um, I guess it's, the holes are about the same size, but it's a little firmer. I wasn't able to find that, so if you can, yeah, I might want to use that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to double layer this so at least it's a little sturdier. Maybe over time it won't wear down so fast. Alright, so we have the finished product. 
semi-finished product of the suction bucket. So got the screen in place, uh, double layered, so it still let the air come through. One thing we figured out after the fact, <laughs> make sure that you cut the bucket on the side under the handle so that when your handle's coming down, it's not hitting your screen. Um, it's not a big deal. Most of the time your handle's gonna be out. There's gonna be a bucket underneath this part anyway, covering that. But just for like transporting purposes and stuff like that, you don't want something hitting the side where the bees are. Um, potentially, eventually it's gonna weaken it, maybe. Um, I don't know. But yeah, just if I had to do it again, I would probably just do the holes on the sides underneath the handle. So that when the handle's hitting on the side, it's just hitting the plastic and not the screen. But uh, that's the inside. As you can see, we left a good overlap layer up bigger than the hole. I put silicone all the way around the holes um, to attach the screen to. And then we'll finish it off with uh, some duct tape just to make sure that it's nice and sealed and doesn't move around and they can make it a little more durable. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is gonna sit down in here. You have a nice gap between the screen and the white bucket so that the air can still suck from here, which is gonna be connected to the back. Cool. Um, all right, so the final step. The final step in this is gonna be inserting, kind of like what I did on the bottom of the, the white bucket. I'm gonna be inserting or cutting a hole in this lid, which fits on top of the yellow bucket. Um, we're gonna be inserting this, which fits the extended hose that we got to go with our little system here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the same system, or the same, same thing as cutting the hole on the bottom. This is a little easier because it's flat. <laughs> bead of, Hold on, start up. Yeah. Got a big bead of uh, silicone. Try to create a nice good seal there. size fitting of that. So this was the two inch one and the reason we got this one was because this is the hose um, receiving end of the hose fixture that we got. So it comes with a clip on part but this right here actually fits right over top of that. Mm -hmm. So we're into the electric tape just to make it a little bit of a snugger fit. We'll put some tape on this fixture to make it more secure. And this goes attaches like so. And ultimately, you know, the V-back. I gotta go test it out. Alright, so we're back with the finished product. Um, as you can see, we got all the hoses connected. Um, got the white bucket down here with the fixture on the bottom. Got the hose connected directly to the vacuum. We have assembled the connection for the extended hose on the top of here already. Just had to wrap a couple, uh, a little bit of tape around it to uh, make it a snug fit. Um, but depending on what pieces or hoses you guys get, I mean, it's gonna just have to finagle it a little bit. So now we're gonna test it out. Um, we don't want to bring bees in the house to test this. So we're just gonna use it, use some rubber bands.
rubber bands in the bucket. Got the screen in there as well. We just got to we're gonna duct tape the screen. Yeah, this is on the, the edges, last thing we need to do. The last thing we need to do. But the seals work really good. Well, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Make each day count. And God bless. Bye, everybody.